Hi, I'm the Barbecue Butcher. Today, I'll be cutting and trimming two great pieces of beef from New Zealand. This is the Natural Farms 100% gr grass-fed beef from Wellington. It is manufactured in a plant called Ken Wilson Meats, and I'm just gonna cut up a sirloin or a strip loin, a scotch fillet, and we'll go from there. So the first part we're gonna do is the sirloin, people call the strip loin, Porterhouse, there's many different names around the world, but what we're gonna do, always, run down here, you'll see a gristle. There's a little gristle under here. Just really easy to take that out, slide your knife under, and then you can pick it up. If you look there, you can see how it's very gristly. That's what it, you wanna get rid of. You know, grass-fed beef of New Zealand is what New Zealand's known for. Uh, it's a bit different to grain fed. It's animals aren't as big. You can look at this to some of my Wagyu videos and go on, man, that's tiny. But this is actually a quite big beef for New Zealand. We don't have massive animals. Uh, this, is a, this is a nice piece of sirloin. So I've taken it off there and then we're just going to cut it into steaks. Remember the two finger rule? I like marking it out however big you want them and so on, and then we can have a look what the stuff looks like. And people keep on asking me about grass fed to grain fed, it's just a preference that it comes down to what you like yourself. So there's some big awesome looking sirloins. Remember these are grass fed, not grain fed, all the way from New Zealand, so that's pretty cool. There's the sirloin, the other half, and now we're going to start on the scotch fillet. In New Zealand we make the scotches a little bit long, how we bone out our beef compared to other countries. Uh, it's just the way we take it off the third rib, other countries take it off the first rib, second rib, there's so or no ribs, there's all different ways of doing it. But we're going to start and I'll sh then I'll lay out what a scotch looks like once it's all cut. So if you ever been to New Zealand, been to Wellington, it's in the, it's the capital city of New Zealand, it's at the bottom of the North Island. I live at the top of the North Island, but uh, this is a really great product, I love using it, eating it and cutting it, so that's why I'm showing you what it looks like today. So then we're going to lay this out and sort of show you how the muscle changes down the scotch. You can see the spinalis is getting bigger and the, the cap. The eye gets bigger and bigger. Oh, running out. I've got the biggest cutting board. I'm just running out of room. And see, you can see how that is different compared to that part of the muscle. And in this part, and here's the last part. So you can see how it all flows. It starts as one solid mass of, of meat or muscle, and then it just slowly changes, gets bigger, gets bigger, the spinalis and the different breaks. It's three, three meat muscles in there, and that's how that done down like that. So this is, again, 100% grass-fed New Zealand beef. Uh, some of the best grass-fed beef in the world. Uh, it's very good. The Ken Wilson Natural Farmers brand. So if you need any more information on grass-fed beef, if you'd like to see another video on grass-fed beef instead of grain-fed or wagyu, just flick comment on the bottom below and we'll go from there. So remember to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.